All right, today Candace is going to be making Dijon chicken. Giggity giggity. So guys, you're going to have to excuse my hair today because I went swimming and I have not done it since I got done swimming. Okay, so for the breading, we've got to bread the chicken. And for the breading, we're just going to take some all-purpose flour, sprinkle it onto a plate, and I use breadcrumbs, garlic and herb. I think uh, it makes the chicken a little bit more texturized as opposed to just using flour. You just sprinkle some on there like that, however many you want, just according to your taste. Then, I'm going to use my Himalayan salt That's kind of too much, but that's okay. Um, I'd say maybe like half a teaspoon of that salt. And then maybe a fourth of a teaspoon of garlic powder and some pepper. Then give it a little zhuzh. chicken is right here and just get thinly sliced chicken like regular chicken is like that thick just get thin sliced so it's like you know half that much oh and we need an egg an egg you're just going to use to coat the chicken before you put it in the flour and you don't want any shells yeah. Ockers, as I tell my daughter. Ockers. Okay, and I like to use tongs because it doesn't get my fingers dirty. So, oh yeah. We gotta whip it. Whip it good. Just beat it! Beat it! How's that go, honey? I don't know the words. Sorry. Something, something, something. Beat it! Okay. I need a spoon holder, you guys. You didn't get it for my wedding, so I have to do that. Okay. Then, you just take some chicken. It's been trimmed. Thank you, honey. And you dip it in there like that. Then you throw it on here. Make sure the flour coats it really well. I normally do it twice on each side. You could also use olive oil if you wanted to, or I'm sure you could even use vegetable oil, but I just like the flavor that, that butter gives you. Okay, now I gotta take a chicken. And try not to make a mess. Put it in the pan. And you continue with all of this and put it in the pan. And when I get done with all that, I'll show you what to do next. So basically I have cooked the chicken. I like to cook it a lot. Like I like it to be brown and crispy. And then I had to add a little bit of oil to the pan because the butter kept drying up and burning. And I don't mind it a little bit, but it was happening more than I wanted it to. So after your chicken is done cooking, you can go ahead and take it out. And 
you got to take it out and put it in a separate container. I put mine in a bowl so I can add the juices back to it. Back to the pan. The juices will come out. Ouch. Just like so. Alright, so normally in this dish you put in you'd put in onions right now, but I didn't want to have to buy onions and we don't really necessarily care for onions. One time I cooked this meal and I forgot the onions because I just forgot them and um actually I'm gonna add a little bit of butter. Um and it ended up tasting just fine. It was good. So um since then I just kinda leave out the onions unless I just feel like having these in it. So I just added some butter just because I want more of a base to my sauce. So since I'm not putting onions in, I'm gonna put in minced onions, dried minced onions. And I like putting in my um I I like putting in my seasonings when it's a hot pan because it basically opens up the flavor of it all as opposed to if you just put it in there towards the end. Yay for burned onions! That's okay. It'll add an exoticness to it. Just kidding. Whoa, I'm not supposed to... My gosh. Okay. So I put dill in this and I like to put a lot of dill. I would say a tablespoon, maybe two. I just, I like the flavor of dill. Oh, and you're supposed to have um, garlic in this, like minced garlic, but I don't have any minced garlic, and I forgot it at the store. So I am adding garlic powder. Um, normally you would do about a, a tablespoon of minced garlic, but that's just not going to happen. And then I'll add in some pepper, just to flavor it up. And then you're going to want to get some chicken stock. And I always shake it up because there's normally stuff that settles to the bottom. And you're going to put in of this thing, I don't know, maybe half of it, maybe the whole thing. I don't know. And don't mind my burned onions. That was not supposed to happen, but hey, I didn't have normal onions. I just put it in, basically, however much sauce you want, put in that much chicken stock. That's my rule. And then I kind of save out some, like I don't put quite as much as I want because uh, when you add the cream, uh, the cream is going to make everything pretty thick. So if for some reason the sauce is too thick, then I'll add some more uh, chicken stock. So you kind of let that heat a little bit. Um, then take uh, coarse ground mustard. Um, shake it up. And I just blop it. Maybe two, two or three tablespoons. However much you feel like putting in there. Basically, that's how I cook all my meals. And then I was so sad because that is all we have of my ground mustard. And I normally put a lot of mustard in it here. Oh, that smells good. Because that, I think, is what makes, makes it really mustardy. Makes it really good. But I'm just going to put the rest of that in there. I'm just going to live with it. I put more Dijon mustard in there, or coarse ground mustard, than normal. And this dish is Dijon chicken when I don't actually put Dijon mustard in there. And I probably should, but I forgot to buy it at the store. So Then I'm going to take a whisk. Or not. I'll take a whisk. And you just start stirring it up. Then go ahead and add your cream. You want to get heavy whipping cream. 
and I'll probably put about half of this, and this is a pint. That's half a pint, honey. Half a pint? Okay, so you might want to put half a pint, but I may put a little bit more. I don't know. It just depends on how things look and how I feel like, why I feel like doing it. And that's when I said, like, if it gets too thick, you can just add more chicken stuff. But if you put a lot of cream in there, it's going to get really thick. Sometimes I'll smell it, and if it doesn't smell dilly enough, I might add more dill. I just said dilly. Dilly yo. Dilly. What's the dilly yo? Then you want to turn up your heat a little bit now that you're not going to burn your onions like I did. And I'll probably add some more dill. Honey, I'm in a dill mood tonight. We're just going to let this simmer and heat up and get thick. And then when we come back, I'll show you what that looks like. Alright you guys, I came to check on my sauce. I can see it's boiling. So I'm going to go ahead and add my chicken in. Here, chicken. Don't you call me chicken. Alright, chicken. Don't you call me mustache. Okay, mustache. See all those ummy, ummy juicies? Turn right back in. Then I just kind of get everything all coated. Ow! Hey, don't do that. That hurts. Sauce is a little warm. Alright. So it's a little bit on the thin side. So, I'm going to add some more cream. everything a good stir. And the chicken needs to be in there for a while and so all the flavors incorporate and get all mushy gushy. So now it's getting a little better. You want this, it's not supposed to be a gravy, it's supposed to be a sauce. And sauce is not thick like gravy, like real thick. It's, it's just like, you know, it's a sauce. So it's supposed to be pretty thin. And then you just kind of want to keep turning them so they get all coated and nice. And you are going to want to turn your heat down to um, a three or whatever that is. Medium low. Medium low. Yeah, there you go. See, I like to judge the sauce. Like, if you run the the spoon on the bottom of the pan, you can just barely see it staying apart. That's when you know it's getting pretty good and thick. And remember, if it gets too thick, thicker than you want, you don't want it to turn into a gravy. If it gets that thick, you just add some more chicken stuff, and then you'll have more gravy, or more sauce. So, I'm going to let this sit and simmer. Uh, don't cover it, because uh, it's just, it won't, just don't cover it. It's just, it won't work very good. And then I'm going to come back when everything's all done, and I'll make you guys a plate. Alright, guys. So, with this chicken, I had to add some more chicken stock because as it kept cooking, it was getting thicker and thicker and thicker. Too thick. So, I went ahead and added some more chicken stock and it got down to a nice creamy texture. I also added some more dill because I tasted it and I'm so in love with dill, I couldn't even stand it. So, I added more dill. Well, everything's done. Now 
Now it's time to make a plate. So let's make a plate. Honey, which one do you want? No matter. It doesn't matter. Um, you can have this day. Oh, and we're having this tonight with green beans and mashed potatoes. But normally when I cook it, I'll make it with broccoli and um, shell noodles. But, I don't know. I just was in the mood for green beans. And plus it's my husband's favorite vegetable. Mashed potatoes. Oh, and we cheated and we got store-bought mashed potatoes. But they're like amazing. They're like way better than I could ever make. So, how much mashed potatoes do you want? That's fine. Okay. And I make a little pocket. And then I get out my spoon. Because this is really good stuff. And I put it basically over everything. So you can turn everything off. Turn down the heat. Turning down the heat. Well, bad gum. I just bought this tonight, so because we were out of my dill, and for me to be out of dill is no bueno. I cannot live without my dill. I put dill in everything, don't I, honey? Mm -hmm. Okay, well, normally this would have been opened. And the onions wouldn't be sitting there burning, which is not cool, but...